Okay, we have a deal. You bring the money, I get you the coke. You got it, Scarface. Oh my god, you can see that? The doctor said you wouldn't be able to. Yes, everyone can see that. That's why we call you Scarface. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We? All right, Griffin, you're clearly a smoker. Enjoy your break. More wine, more women, more table. <laughs> uh, I'm having a heart attack. Is anyone at the table a doctor? I am. Come here, hurry, run. But the very far away doctor couldn't make it in time. And that's why here in Denmark, we have very small tables. Hey, Dad. Want to hear a story about my day at school? It's about my hot friend, Melissa. Okay. She didn't wear a bra to school today. Okay. And someone spilled water all over her white shirt. Okay. And it was cold, so you could see everything. Okay. Then she left, and I realized I was all alone. Smoke break! Watson, a clue! The intruder has tracked in a red clay, which can only be found near London's homosexual bathhouse. Amazing, Holmes. How did you know that? Just from, like, books and stuff. Who's Dad? Your father got up early and went for a run. <sighs> Nothing like an after-run mint to get rid of that jogger's breath. Okay, now sit down and have some breakfast. I made your favorite waffles and... Hey, uh, did anybody get the paper today? <sighs> <sighs> ah, nothing like an after-paper mint to get rid of that paper-getting breath. Hey, Chewbacca! Pass over, stupid, and I'm gonna prove it by breaking your nose. Hey, why don't you pick on someone your own religion who can fight for themselves? And you're not so tough. You frequently opt out of swim class because of your gross microcephalic penis. It's not gross. It's special. I can use it to reset my cable box. Your turn. You know, Peter, it's so nice that after all these years we've been together, we can still... Smoke break! What? Peter, what are you doing down there? Nothing. Well, it doesn't seem like nothing. <laughs> Peter, since when are you a smoker? Put that out right now. Smoking is highly addictive. I'm not addicted. I just need a couple every hour or so so I don't go completely insane. Peter, that's exactly what addicted means. You have a serious problem. Cigarettes will kill you. Relax, Lois. I can quit any time I want. Look, I'll toss this one out right now. I'm so sorry I threw you out the window. Oh. Hey, man, can you keep it down? Sorry. Wait, whose bedroom are you in? Meg's. Okay, that's fine then. Hey, Chris, what you did there for that sweaty Jew, that was really nice. Back away, foul wench. Your wide hips hold no temptation for me. I mean, you have a vulva and fallopian tubes. Finally, a guy who listens. Here's my number. Call me. First off, we have a new rule. No more asking the gym teachers if they went to college. They did not. <gasps> Peter, your fart didn't go off until 8.30. Get up. We're late. <laughs> oh, what the hell? What, what, what? Peter, it, it, it's horrible. Other people live here. Oh, my God. How did this happen? It's from smoking. It's not that bad. Mr. Griffin, I'm gonna need to ask you a few questions. Do you think I can jump and touch that pipe up there? I don't know. The hell I can't. There, got it. Yeah, I guess your fingertips grazed it. Yeah, that counts as a dunk. Dr. Hartman, we're here for you to help Peter quit smoking. Mrs. Griffin, I can't do that. It's an addiction. I can't even get my son to quit being gay. Well, you gotta do something. He's killing himself. Ugh, all right, how many Vicodins for you guys to just leave me alone? 40. Stupid younger generation. Back in my day, we had Katy Perry, Justin Bieber. That was real music. Lois, why do all the people in here look like Emperor Palpatine? Because they're all heavy smokers, Peter. I'm gonna sign you in. Would the driver of a 1978 Camaro please move your car? 
<laughs> Man, how the hell am I gonna quit smoking? I wish smoking could just quit me instead. Thank you for meeting me here. I have something very important to tell you. I have something important to tell you, too. Peter, I think we should see other people. Okay. Uh, good. That's what I was going to say, too. Peter, I'm ready. Okay, now put on yours. Wow, isn't it weird that we both picked Mario Lopez? Yes, Peter. It's very weird. Yeah, it shows that we both go Latino, but soft Latino. And now, a word from the American Lung Association. Oh, hey, hey, guys, here comes one of my TV spots. Hi, Peter Griffin, sickly smoker. This is your heart. This is your heart on cigarettes. Any questions? Yeah, where'd you get that heart? Please, I'll do anything to keep my job. N name anything you want and I'll do it. Touch your toes. <sighs> Please give me something else. I'm sorry, Peter, it's over. <laughs> Why are your eyes crying, Peter? They fired me, Larry! Come on, let's go kidnap my neighbor's dog and tell them we don't have it. Well, I finally quit smoking and I'm ready to go back to normal. Peter, that's not how it works. The damage you've done is irreversible. Yeah, Lois is right. As bad as you look, the damage you've done to your heart and your lungs is no doubt exponentially worse. What? Well, try cutting to the outside of the house over some music. That usually works. Fuck. <laughs>